Let's take a look how to make this 3D poster in the latest Adobe Dimension with the updated user interface. All right, so first we're gonna set up the poster. So let's select the plane and we're gonna set up the size on this. Let's go to the transform. Here we got the scale, make sure to unlink it. Let's go to the X, I'm gonna go with 1.92 and let's go to the Z, I'm gonna go with 1.08. So this is basically the 1080p size. Now let's go and convert the shape. And now with this new button, I can upload the poster, click on it. I'm gonna select the poster, click on open. And it's gonna look something like this. With these little squares, you also can stretch them. But in my situation, the poster is 1080p and the plane also is 1080p. So I'm gonna go here to the placement and change it to fill. After the poster, we're gonna go and select the torus. Let's go to the object. I'm gonna increase the pipe radius to four and I'm gonna go and bring it up. Press Control C, Control V and I'm gonna bring the second torus out here and let's go to transform. Let's go to rotation X, type in 90 and I'm gonna go and place this, bring it up. It is going to snap it here perfectly and I'm gonna do the same from the top. There you go. Now I'm gonna select both of the torus Press Ctrl G to group them. And you can see they are grouped in this folder. And from here, I'm gonna arrange this on the poster as best as possible. I'm gonna scale it down from this little square. And you can rotate from this little circle and position it however you want. After arranging the torus, I'm also gonna set up the camera. So let's go and click on this little camera icon. And we're gonna go here to the rotation. X is gonna be 90, Y minus 180. Z 180 and I'm gonna press and hold the scroll button and bring it to the center and you can go to the object and here we got the focal length increase it arrange it and make it fit now let's go and apply some materials and I'm gonna select the basic metal just drag and drop it on the highlighted torus and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna search for another material and here I'm gonna go to the pattern and I'm gonna drag and drop this pattern on the top torus I'm also gonna go and activate the ray tracing to make it look realistic. Now let's select the torus with the texture and let's go here to the materials, scroll down and here you can change up the color and add a different vibe. And check this out, here we got the pattern type. Let's see what we got here. We got the line, for example, pattern selection, zigzag. So you can select all kind of patterns here, which look really cool by the way. But I'm gonna go back to the organic and here we got quite a bit of options. I'm gonna go with organic D. Let's see what the thickness does. This is going to modify live and this is a really cool texture. Now, but at least we're gonna set up the light. You can click on this light here and select one of the environment lights, but I'm gonna go with this one and check this out. If you press and hold shift and press and hold the right click at the same time and drag the mouse, it is going to move the lights alive. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.